Hello, my friend. Okay, no, no, it's the most important thing. This is very important. <laughs> yes. I am gonna take the kids now what? to do something we have not done in years. Ah, something I know you're gonna love. <laughs> But it's just the two of you. Wow. When we get back, when we get back, <laughs> I'm gonna update you with life stuff, some parenting uh, things, and I'm also gonna give all of you a present, especially your your younger sister. But now I'm gonna take you guys to WWE. What is that? Wrestling. What? Yeah. I'm taking you. Wrestling. I'm taking you to WWE before. I like this. Wrestling in the Asian in the wrestling. ring. Asian wrestling is John oh, Cena. Yeah. Come on. You know John Cena? Yes, I love wrestling. Me, how do you know? Yeah, yeah. How do you know John Cena? Marito, you love You're loud. loud. <laughs> I'm loud too. Where have you? I like you, 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 a lot. you do? Oh. Yes, also like. Oh, all right. What? I don't remember that. No, no, they have any zapatos. In what the is she talking? No, you didn't. Gonna be in the Staples Center. Yeah, it's at the Staples Center. You've never no, been no. in a ring no, it's before. No, gonna be in the Crypto.com <laughs> <laughs> arena. You're so smart. All right, let's get dressed and let's go. Oh my God, you guys. I'm running behind. We're gonna get there a little late. I'm doing my best. I've had quite the week. I have a surprise for you later. I have a surprise for you later. Uh, grandma's going to take care of you, okay? I, I have a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, if you behave, if Grandma tells me that you behave well, I'm going to give you the surprise, okay? Do you want a surprise? I know, I know you're going to love it. Un besito. Un besito. Un besito. <laughs> I, I'm gonna give you the surprise when we come back, okay? No. You don't want it? <laughs> no, you're not going to the movie now. What? No, movie. no, we're not going to the movies. We're gonna go wrestling. That's wrestling. I already told you, you've been before. Wrestling, the guys in the ring. Yeah. No, we're just gonna go watch. Ah. And I got a surprise for you when we get back. <laughs> MyTrue10.com. Oh my god, I've got stuff in my. I always have things in my teeth. Just deal with it. MyTrue10.com. If you want to get me a Christmas present this year, all that I want is for you to try this or gift it to a loved one. And if you get the 60 count bottle, you save even more. Check out our verified reviews. Check out our pricing, very affordable options at mytrue10.com. That's mytrue10.com. <sighs> let's go. We're not gonna get there too late. We might show up like 30 minutes late. All right, let's go. Ah! All right, we're here. And and Mia thinks we're gonna see arm wrestling. It's yeah. not. It's not arm wrestling. Yeah. It's wrestling, wrestling. Yes. Yeah. But it, it's not real, Mia. It's pretend. It's pretend. It's real. No, it's pretend. No, it's, real. it's not real. No, All right, it's real. All right, let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> I was not finished talking. Shot. 
Are you excited? Are you happy? We just had some drama. Your blocking my shot. We just had some drama over this. Oh my god. Did that scare you? No. <laughs> Ooh. It's a sold out show too. Look at all these people here. about to have some crazy children. <laughs> no, it's this way. We're 109. We're this way. Mia thinks she knows everything. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Watching more the girls or the boys fighting? Girl. Who? Girl. The girls? There's a lot of this. 
and let's catch up in a minute. And we're home. I have a surprise for them and their sister, but they're finishing dinner. Real simple, chicken nuggets and Kraft macaroni and cheese, which never fails, okay? It's like the tried and true children's meal at home. So they're gonna finish eating. I'm gonna catch up with you guys and then I'm gonna give them and Maite a little surprise. This weekend was supposed to be so fun. Friday night was, the kids enjoyed it. Even though I did not wanna go. I love wrestling, but I have had the week from hell so much happening behind the scenes that I can't even tell you about. Like, you know when things are next level, when like the drama is too real, when life hits you too hard? That's been this week. But it hasn't crushed me. It's drained me. So I... I might do nothing else this weekend and that's okay. Maybe I will do something, I don't know. But I'm, you know, I'm okay if I do nothing else because if you watched my video yesterday, you will know we're going to Vegas. I'm so low energy right now. This is low energy for me. We're going to Vegas and I'm very excited about that. I did have a great time at the wrestling while I was there. It was a needed distraction from everything that's been going on. And not everything is bad. Today I did get a piece of wonderful news that's also related to Las Vegas. The universe is pointing. So grateful for that bit of news, which is the, a lifeline. You know, I'm strong enough to not drown, but sometimes it's great to feel like you have help. So that wonderful news today came in like a gift from God. And you know, one of the things I do like about driving actually, even though I hate Los Angeles traffic, but it wasn't too bad getting to the Staples Center or the Crypto.com Arena. You know, I'm present, I'm focused, especially when I know where I'm going and I don't have to have GPS on. And I was able to have really meaningful conversation with my kids. Like one of my daughter's classmates at school, she's in first grade and one of her classmates identifies as non-binary. So all these first graders are aware of that term, even if they don't really understand it, the teachers have had conversations with them about it. And I was like, cool. You know, we don't judge people that are different. We, you know, we accept everybody for who they are, right? Because some people might judge your father for who he is. And, and you know, oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have kids. And, you know, that was really an interesting conversation and, you know, then we started talking about religion as well. And my son said the best thing. My son, you know, we were talking about Jesus and my six-year-old, Mia, she really believes in Jesus, at least in this point in her life, you know? She's got grandma that's rubbed off on her and she's very much a Jesus lover, Jesus believer, even if she doesn't even understand Jesus or what all that means. But she's like, Diosito. She calls Jesus Diosito, like little God. Diosito existe, verdad? And I said, well, a lot of people think that. That, that was my answer because my son's answer was different. And then I said, what do, what do you think, Mario? And, I, and he said, well, I believe in Jesus and I don't believe in Jesus. And I'm like, me too. You know what that means? It means you're agnostic. And then I explained to him what agnostic means. And, you know, like, I would like to believe in Jesus. I don't not believe in Jesus. It could be, it could be, a, it could be real, you know? Um, and we also just had a great time 
singing and making up songs and listening to Imagine Dragons and playing them Shape of You and all of that. Even in the good times, you're going to have speed bumps. That's life. Like, you know, Thursday and Friday, well, Friday especially, yesterday, I could like barely get any work done. I'm so behind, I was so behind on everything. I am so behind, I'm filming this on Friday. Like I was this close to canceling, but I did not cancel because I'm a fan of WWE and really wanted to make my kids happy. And I did. And I'm sure there's other things that I could talk about. I, I wrote down my notes. I'll save it for another vlog. All right, let me give my kids a little gift. That was a present from a member of my fram. All right, close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes. We got a present from Val. Mario, move next to your sisters. Close your eyes. Thank you so much, Val. You are a VIP member of our Fram. All right. One, two, why'd you open? Three. Wow, this is Val? Yes, yeah, okay. and some Christmas bell music books so you can learn how to properly play. Thank you so much, Val. Let it open. I want to open this. Let Mario open it. Wait, hold on. Hold on. No, let Mario. Let's see. Oh, wait, let me open these for you guys. Thank you, Val. Wait, that might take a lot of time because it requires coordination. Why don't we try a song from here? No? Mia, okay, I'm gonna start. going to attempt Jingle Bells. You've never know. played this song, right? Uh, I don't even know you know. Well, try it. Shoot, how do we get this? I can't read all the notes in one second. Well, try it. And then it's gonna take like short, like 30 minutes. Try to play it. You've been taking piano for years. I'll hold it open for you. Try it. Just try. Jingle bells, no, no, D a dashing through the snow on a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Oh, it must, is it easier if you just do the chorus? Here, do this part, starting here. Okay. Jingle bells, okay. 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 
it. Okay. You really have never done this before, so I, I appreciate. That's good, that's it. That was it, keep going. Jingle all the way. You know what? We'll we'll work on it and we'll get it we'll get it right, okay? okay? Let me leave this book open so that it's easier next time. But you know what? I appreciate that you tried. That was excellent. I'm gonna play a scary song. You wanna play a scary song? Alright. <laughs> and oh, you're still going at it. Look, for tomorrow, not tonight, because it's late. A Christmas puzzle from Val. Thank you, Val. Mia, you can't cry over silly things like this, okay? Thank you, Val. So I've been listening to a lot of sad music. Anyways, I'm really thankful for everybody that watches and supports. I'm thankful that we're getting away. I didn't even put up Christmas decorations this year. So the Christmas puzzle is truly so welcome. And the Christmas bells, it'll um, give us Christmas spirit for the little bit longer that we're here before going to Vegas Thank you to everybody that has supported MyTrue10.com. Thank you to anybody that may have super chatted me. Thank you to everybody who watches my podcast on YouTube. Being sad is not a bad thing, okay? So don't, you don't have to say, don't be sad. Being sad is not a bad thing. Being sad is not a bad thing. It's also exhausted. Just, you know, being ex ex exhausted leads to sad, can, can lead to sadness and blah, blah. I'm going to stop talking. I love you. I thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.